our Mass today is being offered for the repose of the soul of Paul Tremontosi by the Weisberg family. Our entrance at Tefon can be found in the inside of your handout. Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. The, uh, the feast today is for St. Augustine Zan Rong, priest and companion martyrs. It covers uh, 120 martyrs from China, and they uh, were martyred between the mid-17th uh, century to the early 20th century, so it's quite a span of time and a number of people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and to bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your wonderful providence have strengthened your church through the confession of the martyrs St. Augustine Zhao and companions, grant that your people, <clears throat> grant that your people faithful to the mission entrusted to it may enjoy ever greater freedom and witness to the truth before the world through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, When Israel was a child, I loved him. But of Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the further they went from me, sacrificing to Baals and burning incense to idols. <clears throat> Yet, it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet, though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed, my pity stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God and not man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim shine forth. Rouse your power. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, and the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. <clears throat> the 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, Go outside of that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you've not been uh, either coming to or listening to Mass this week, you really have to kind of start with my Monday homily, uh, which is on the parish website and on YouTube. Uh, but in it, I, I give a background for the book of the prophet Hosea. And one of the things that I sent, said was that it has some of the harshest uh, language in the Bible, but it also has some of the most tender. And my interpretation is that we can attribute most of the harsh, the seriously harsh language to the author Hosea um, uh, and the tender language we can attribute to God. Now, the reason I say this is not because I don't think that there are consequences for what we do. I think this is important because sometimes if we focus just on the tenderness or the mercy of God, uh, we might be tempted to presumption, to say, oh, well, no matter what I do, God's gonna love me and so everything is okay. And I don't want to say that. Uh, one of the best ways that I've heard it explained is when we speak of God's wrath, because God can't lose his temper. If we could make God lose his temper, then he wouldn't be all powerful. We would have power over him. And he is perfect. He's all powerful, he's unchanging. So when we read in the, uh, the Bible about God's wrath or his anger or his punishment, that's when we get what we ask for. However, God doesn't give us what we ask for, or at least he gives us a lot of chances to, to rethink and to reconsider. And that's what we call God's mercy. And that's how his mercy is explained. And so this is a wonderful, wonderful section to read in the book of the prophet Hosea. God, God says, when Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called him. And, and you can just kind of feel the weight on, on God's heart. Um, the more I called them, the further they went from me, and they sacrificed to Baals, to false idols. Um, yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, and I took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheek. Isn't that sweet? God just picks us up and he hugs us and he, 
and he holds us. Yet though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. What a terrible pity if we were to think of God as an angry, vengeful God and not realize that he was our healer. He says, my heart is overwhelmed, my pity is stirred. God loves us. He won't force his love on us. But he loves us and he gives us so many opportunities to return to him. Let us bring our prayers and petitions before our Father in heaven. For God's church, that we will repent and turn back to God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer for our country and for the people of the world, that they will live together in peace and harmony, we pray. For all those who have asked our prayers, for all those who need our prayers, for all those who are suffering religious persecution, we pray. For all those who have the coronavirus or other chronic illness, and for all those who are suffering from the effects of the pandemic, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have died, we remember especially Paul Tremontosi, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear all our prayers through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, now we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine that we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very, their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim, 
holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In the mingling of the body and blood, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the eternal life, give us who receive. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless the man who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.